Hi, my name is Yash Kaur, and uh, my team is Skill Hero. And uh, the concept of this came through uh, last year when I was looking for opportunities to volunteer, and I was involved with uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters. Being a developer, I was like, well, okay, what can I do with my little sister? And I wanted to teach her how to code. And I was like really interested in it, and I was like, can I do this with other people and help other girls encourage be in, um, be a developer? And I really couldn't find any opportunities, and the more I looked, I was like, okay, well, okay, I'm a developer, and that's what I'm interested in, but what if you're a designer and you want to volunteer your design time for someone? Um, you can't really find it. So, Skill Hero is born, and um, can you go to the next one? Yeah. Um, so we solve three problems. Uh, one is for the nonprofit, where um, it's difficult for them to find uh, skilled professional uh, volunteers who can just take a project and go with it and complete it without any um, uh, with minimal direction. And uh, so we provide that solution by giving them um, a pool of skilled professionals who are willing to donate their time and do this. And also we pre-screen them and uh, it kind of streamlines their uh, volunteer efforts because it'll all be in one place and all their active projects is right there. And if you look on that screen, we'll show you um, a little demo. Uh, this is us, Skill Hero. Oh, so th this is a list of all the nonprofits. So, um, that we recruited. And uh, <laughs> click on non -hero, uh, Skill Hero. And um, so this is a description of what the nonprofit does and all the current active projects. And if you click on one of the projects, you'll see, okay, these are the people that are helping me with this project. So the, the second problem we solve is for volunteer like me looking for opportunities. So they can go to our site and look up um, a list of um, opportunities that they would be interested in. And um, so this also it matches to you know specific cause that they want to support. You know, like I'm very interested in mentoring girls, so I would want to help out Girls Inc. doing you know teaching girls with coding. So um, the third uh, oh demo. Uh, this is. Um, this is my profile on Skill Hero. Uh, so you can see um, we pulled this data from LinkedIn. And uh, you can see my title. You can see the feedback I've gotten on the projects that I've completed. And um, you can see the badges I've earned. Uh, this is something uh, unique to us that you can kind of earn badges. You can earn a hero badge by doing 10 hours of volunteer work and a superhero badge for doing 100 hours and so on. We came up with many different badges that you could earn. So. And this then links back to LinkedIn. Yeah, and uh, this kind of helps linking uh, LinkedIn and your volunteer profile together because um, a nonprofit can come in and say, well, okay, they want to teach a class on. Um, you know, web development, but okay, what, what do they really do? One minute. Uh, okay, so move on. And the third problem we solve is corporations. Um, they have a certain allotted number of hours you can volunteer for, and I can come in and say, oh yeah, I did four hours of volunteer work, uh, but how do they validate that? This can actually show them that, okay, yeah, they did spend four hours doing or teaching this class or whatever it is that you did. And they got feedback on it. So those are the three problems Skill Hero uh, kind of tries to solve. And uh, 
Um, this is our profit model. We're gonna operate as a nonprofit, and um, so we rely on volunteers. <laughs> okay, questions from the judges. How do you make money? Um, so we, that's our revenue model up there. We will rely on corporate sponsors and uh, we've thought of um, giving enterprise level feed of uh, volunteer opportunities for corporations that they can provide to their employees. And we even thought that you know, they could earn um, corporate level matches, like 100 employees um, volunteer on the site and you get the 18 badge. <laughs> So um, that's that's one way, and also uh, grants and uh, uh, sliding scale finders fee for nonprofits, depending on how much you use uh, our site. Say you only have five projects a year, you know we won't we maybe charge you five dollars a project. But if you have 500 projects a year on our site, then we'll charge you more. Oh. Uh, any other questions? I'm just curious. To, I'm just curious to know: Are there any competitors, or you know, anyone else doing anything similar where you can donate your skills? Yeah. Uh, so there are. Uh, there is a competitor that we found uh, based out of New York that kind of does a similar thing, but they charge nonprofits yearly subscription fee to access volunteers, which we think is. Not really cool. I mean, you're trying to help volunteers connect with nonprofits and charging nonprofits. And um, also, the thing that's different about us is we're kind of gamifying the whole volunteering experience and encouraging uh, volunteers to volunteer more and corporations to give incentives to, you know, volunteer, uh, have their employees volunteer more as well. And that's good. I think maybe you should you should put that forward to say that you really are encouraging people to volunteer. You know, I think that's that's a key thing for you to put in your presentation. Mm -hmm. Do you have any ideas on how much corporate corporations currently spend on either marketing or organizing volunteer efforts? Uh, do you want to take that? As with some of the other groups this weekend, being a weekend, it is very difficult to get some of those numbers. But we do know that they spend a lot of money. So let's say you have one employee that does this full time. That's a full time salary and benefits that you're paying to something. If they could outsource that, we would be. There's no other way to assume anything other than they would be willing to pay a similar amount for another organization to do that and just simply take it off their hands. Plus, we're providing a benefit through the verification that they don't already have. So I, it would seem as though there would be a distinct revenue model there. Is there, is there a possibility for a revenue model coming from being a headhunter for corporations hiring employees? Not, not in, in the for-profit model, we haven't discussed that. I think there's definitely that side that's kind of going beyond what we had time to deal with this weekend. We did have, however, a board member from a local charity here this morning that said that they would certainly be willing, even as a nonprofit, to pay us a fee to help line up a qualified candidate for a position because those higher level positions, the ones with the higher level skills that we're trying to, to meet, are much more difficult to obtain. So there is certainly, even from that nonprofit side, a, a willingness to pay for this service that will streamline everything. And because we can have three different customers, we have the volunteer side, we have the nonprofit side, and then the corporate, the, you know, the sponsorship side, there is certainly revenue from different streams in from a freemium kind of model, where the top end will pay us enough to certainly survive the bottom end will definitely be gaining a service. One more minute. Great. Any other questions from judges? No? Okay, good job, guys. Can I ask you one, one other thing? We are live, and we would certainly like to have more volunteers sign up. Uh, we have about 10 volunteers right now signed up. I would like to get that up to at least 20 by the end of the weekend. Tell us what skills you have, what kind of organizations you would like to volunteer for. We already have four nonprofits that want us to work with them. We already have one possible uh, investor. Do the URL. Okay. So, all right, the URL is we have it up. It's demo.skillhero.org, and that is a live site. Good job, guys.